We're going to talk about Ruminos tetras and see if they're the perfect pet fish for you. I'm Dan, your friendly fishmonger at dancefish.com, and today I want to tell you about the Rummy Nose Tetra. So Rummy Nose Tetras are very popular. They are the second most exported fish out of the state of Amazonas, Brazil, where the Rio Negro region is. And they export 1.5 million of them from there every year. But that's horrible, you say. That's going to decimate the population. Well, it would seem that way, but actually it doesn't. It actually helps preserve their habitat. And let me explain why. The population is used to major expansions in the wet season and major contractions in the dry season. During the dry season, millions of these fish die naturally because their habitat is greatly reduced. So they are naturally adapted to increasing their numbers rapidly every year during the wet season. So what we're really doing is saving 1.5 million rummy nose tetras that would otherwise die during the dry season. And instead of only lasting up to one year in the wild, in the aquariums, they can last three years or more. So it's not as inhumane as it would seem. And it helps preserve the local habitat because the local fishermen rely on healthy fish populations. That's how they make a living. So they're incentivized to preserve the habitat. So I know it's counterintuitive, but collecting those fish in those numbers has not impacted the population negatively since 1955 and has helped preserve the local environment. If you take a moment to like and subscribe, that's helpful. We would appreciate it. We're trying to get to 30,000 subs. So let's figure out if this is a good fish for your aquarium. Well, by appearance, I think it's beautiful. I would give it a four out of five, unless it's the platinum rummy nose. That one I give a five out of five. That looks like a rummy nose tetra. It's all dressed up for its wedding. It's beautiful. There's such a beautiful fish with that bright red face, males and females. Now something that's really neat about the rummy nose tetra is it's a very nice schooling fish. Something we want in aquariums often is a nice tight school of fish swimming around together, unidirectionally queuing off each other. And you see that really neat behavior. And that's what the rummy nose tetra delivers. They're one of the best, tightest schooling tetras out there. In order to form a school, they have to see each other. So they cue off each other visually to form the school. But they're not very efficient if they form a school just visually. So they've developed this really complex sensory organ called the lateral line that runs all down the length of their body. All these little nerves that sense pressure changes and different changes in water. And they use that to find the ideal drafting position behind their schoolmates to get the best hydrodynamic advantage. Another plus is they're easy to feed. They eat everything. In fact, they get so excited about the food that they'll go in a big clump and just mob it. So keep that in mind when keeping them with other species. If the other species are really slow at feeding time, they might get outcompeted. So you'll need to think of strategies of how to feed the tetras and then sneak food down to your slow feeders as well. So everybody gets a little bit. I give them a four. Not because they're hard to feed. They're super easy to feed. They'll eat anything. But because they are so energetic at feeding time, that they can outcompete slower feeders. In fact, the only real drawback to this fish is its sensitivity to ammonia. There have been studies done on fish from this region, including Ruminos tetras, and they have been found to be more sensitive to ammonia than other fish from other environments. And the reason is, in that soft, acidic, black water that most of them come from, ammonia does not exist. Ammonia is converted into a chemical called ammonium, a low pH. And ammonium is not very harmful to fish at all. So because of the sensitivity to ammonia, Rominos tetras sometimes don't do well in the supply chain. In fact, I'm sure there's some of you that are watching this video that have tried Rominos tetras in the past and not had success. And because of that, they have a reputation for being somewhat delicate. But they're not delicate. They're just sensitive to ammonia. If you've tried in the past, try one more time. Get some from us. We know how to source them, maintain them, and transport them to our customers without them being exposed to the ammonia that is so harmful to them. So give us a shot. I guarantee they'll get to you in good shape. In fact, if they don't, I'll refund you the cost of the fish and the cost of shipping associated with that fish so you won't be out anything. That's how confident I am that the ones we have are going to do well for you. Ease of care, I'm going to give them a four out of five because of their sensitivity to ammonia. But if you have a nice mature tank, then it's probably a five out of five. If they're not going to experience that ammonia spike, 
they're going to be nice and hardy for you. Other care requirements are similar to most tropical fish. So your standard aquarium temperatures for tropical fish will be fine, mid 70s to low 80s. You might have noticed I don't talk much about pH, and that's because I don't think it's important. I've kept Romino's tetras in soft acidic water, I've kept them in hard alkaline water, and not had a problem. As long as they're in a mature tank that isn't going to experience shifts in ammonia and nitrite and nitrate, they're going to be fine no matter what pH they're in, in my experience. For behavior, 5 out of 5, because they are one of the best schooling fish out there. And that nice tight schooling behavior is just really interesting to watch, especially if you have a large tank with a big group of these fish in it, and they have a lot of negative space to swim through, that's when they school amazingly well and they're a joy to behold. And it's the schooling behavior of this species which first drew them to me. I walked into a pet shop once years ago when I was a wee tyke, and there was a big 125 gallon aquarium, that's a six foot wide aquarium, with a school of about 150 of these in there. And they were packed tight, schooling around in there, and it just looked stunning. So that's how I actually like to keep these fish. A large number in a large tank with plenty of negative space so you get that full schooling behavior experience. And there was a study done on Romino's tetras to see how efficient that schooling behavior is. And it's very efficient. Tetras that were schooling had to flap their tails 57% less than tetras that were swimming alone to cover the same distance. And how good of a citizen are they in a community aquarium? We're here they get a five out of five. These are an amazing fish for a community aquarium. They don't harm anybody, they're peaceful, and their neat schooling behavior is a nice complement to the swimming cadences of a lot of other species of fish. Now, if the Rumminos Tetra seems like a good fish for your aquarium, we generally have them here at dancefish.com, and we do a very good job with this fish. This is a fish I'm very proud of. So in the final analysis, I give the Rumminos Tetra a score of 22 out of 25. Although if it's the Platinum Rumminos, I'm gonna give it 23, because it's just so beautiful. The only real dings on there are sensitivity to ammonia, so they're not good for new tanks. Put them in established tanks, they'll be fine. And how they mob the food so they might outcompete slow feeders. Apart from that, I think this is the perfect aquarium fish. So if you want to learn more about Romino's Tetras and other aquarium fish, we do a live stream every Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern time at the Dance Fish YouTube channel. I want to take a moment also to thank our customers, thank the members of the channel, all you Fishmonger crew folks, thanks so much. Until next time, have a good one. Bye-bye.